Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, we will talk about Node.js command line argument and Node.js different module pattern. Okay, I mean, uh, since the big, first video we are talking about Node.js as a command line, uh, you can't do anything on the UI. But how we can pass the argument to the Node.js? That is important, right? So we can take a look on to this simple example. So I have created a test.js with these simple two, two lines of code and now I will just execute this code. Right, what I'm getting is from process.argv I'm getting the first is a node.js runtime argument, runtime environment I'm running and the file name. So the zeroth argument I'm getting from process.argv is the, the process name and the file name. What if I try to pass some argument ergv1 then I will be getting that from the index 2 to 3. So index 2 is having first argument, index 3 is having second argument and I'm just doing a slicing and printing only those argument which are coming after the second index coming from second index like 0 and 1 we are skipping so you can see that we are getting this. So this is how you can pass the command line argument and we can capture it and there is one simple example I have created for the node.js command line so here what we are doing is we are getting the command line input okay we are logging it and based on the command line argument we have we are trying to print okay so we just slice the argument and we assign that to this now based on your input like if you are passing insult, complaint and all. So if you do this, my argument one is insult. Right. So let me save it and try again. You can see this particular case will execute and here you will get the output properly based on the switch case. Right. So here I am passing the command line argument. So command line argument contains the process name, file name and then whatever the argument you are passing. So I'm passing insert. So this is the argument which is coming at the index 2, right? 0, zero th index, first index is the file name and second index is the argument you are passing. So you can pass n number of argument and those arguments will be printed here, right? So I hope you got like how you can capture the runtime argument from the Node.js CLI. And based on the input, you can execute the code. There may be a particular condition. Okay, for this particular input, I wanted to do this. For this particular input, I wanted to do something else. Okay, so this is the basic Node.js command line uh, argument and how we capture the command line argument from the process object and how we decide this code can be anything once you receive the command line argument. Okay, now we'll talk about the the module patterns so in node.js I mean in the javascript environment we talk about the different module pattern common js module pattern es6 amd and uh, require module pattern so these are different module patterns some are sin uh, some are supporting synchronous and asynchronous both like es6 and common js support synchronous and asynchronous loading of the modules I will not go into much detail otherwise for the beginner level this will confuse things. So Node.js uses the common JS module pattern. This module pattern will enable you to import and export things when you are writing a Node.js code. So we have seen that uh, how this module works right and we try to do the require command right and you can require a particular file. So I have a test file or module not found means that is not here that file is not available here also this file is not available let me see the current working directory now let's go here and we can do require here we can see the file is there right require app so what I'm doing here is I am actually requiring that file right so Requiring means I am trying to import the file here. You can see the test. Test I am importing, right? So 
this is how we take we uh, import another file into another file so okay let's uh, do this with the example otherwise it is a confusing so i created a variable x and i can export it and import it somewhere else okay so basic thumb rule if you are not aware about the common just module pattern leave it but when you export it what you have to do is module dot exports and whatever you wanted to export object okay in another file you have to require that thing and here you will be passing the file name like app so maybe app.js is in the current working directory or some other working directory if it is in another working directory then you just specify it so here you are exporting something and here I am importing something right so the export will happen from some one file import will happen in another file so you have written some code like Fibonacci series code which is taking some input that function you have written in app.js and in test.js you wanted to require it so how you do it simple uh, const function you will do a require and require means here whatever in the current working directory you have right now because I already have app.js somewhere so I will be able to require it because hello is not defined so I have to put right variable x is defined so I am importing that in the test.js okay so now if I just run this so here I'm getting error now uh, you can see why because hello is not defined and that is coming from app.js now I am running test.js but app.js is getting executed because I am requiring app.js in the test.js right so x hello is not a variable right we have to assign it to a string I wanted to show you this message that how this debugging happens so now this is a constant and I'm exporting it from here in the test.js I'm requiring it so you can also do console.log what we are getting in the fn this is just a variable right now you can see what I got from there is hello world right this is app.js another module you can say this is the module this is how we define a module in node.js this can be anything this can be a function this can be utility this can be utility or this can be a class anything because classes are also supported now and I'm using the latest version of node.js so it is supporting all the ESX features here I have you can create a function let's uh, create a function now this is a function I am exporting from app.js okay and here I am importing it so I have to call it this function to get the outcome from it right again hello world right so app.js I am exporting in test.js I am requiring it or you can say I am importing it so we just generally use the syntax require require is used to require the module so this is a user defined module in your daily programming you will be using lot of other modules like fs like for file system you will be requiring it so this is the core module this comes with node.js process or if you are using HTTP you will be requiring it so HTTP is to deal with creating server all these things right and you can just run it everything works fine because HTTP and FS modules are already there you can just do a console.log what you are getting FS module has, is giving you all the methods which you need right so here you can see fs so same thing we can also see here it's like global dot fs right either you do this or you can just uh, do require right it both are printing same thing so whatever is available in the global like global dot http same thing you can access using require also right it is giving us the same input whatever we are getting from the require http or you just do the global.http okay 
so these are some some of these are called a predefined set of modules which node.js is already providing with its process object i mean with its global object so you can just directly require them if you are writing your custom functionality like i want to write my own function then i will be creating a module i will be exporting it from here and i will be importing it here so this is the, what i'm trying to tell you in this video is how the module common js modules works these are called common js modules in future you might be seeing that we have people are using fs import everything as fs from fs module so we will be creating alias and all in the typescript code this is import export syntax and you might you will see something like that export default x or export class something like this okay these are called es6 module system where you will be exporting and importing like this these are called common js module pattern you where you are exporting the modules here and importing it here we have already seen uh, this module global variable this module uh, is having all the required things which we need so what is happening when you do require it is actually encapsulating this particular function encapsulating the app.js code inside a module and it is giving it to us so if you just try to in this app.js uh, we are getting the function so if I just try to do console.log fs fn let me just clean this out so this is a little clear so I'm just trying to print it so you got the function right so we are importing the functions you just call this function and get it the whole objective is just to make you understand about how the common js module pattern works in, uh, in further videos you may understand okay how this common js es6 module pattern umd emd module pattern works